Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again for you another action figure review. We're going to be taking a look at this neck of toys. We got Friday the 13th Part 3 3D style here. Uh, before I get into this, this video is not for kids. It's for adult collectors only. So if you're under the age of 13, you have to get up out of here and come back when you're old enough. So, uh, man, let's take a look at this badass Jason right here. First of all, we got this really cool three-dimensional artwork on the front, which may or may not be coming up in the video. I mean, you can see it moving, so that's kind of cool. There's the back of the package. A re little read-up if you want to read it. Pause it, because I'm not going to. Uh, good artwork on the side, which is actually not artwork. I think it's... Yeah, it's actual artwork. Uh, so here's what the figure looks like inside. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's get to it and open this. Now, if you want to see the other, I do have another uh, review where I did another Friday the 13th. It was part five, Jason. So if you want to go ahead and look back and review that watch that review you're more than welcome to it's on there so uh probably not gonna get that one out to compare it just because it's already on the shelf and i don't feel like messing with it so i wasn't even sure if i was going to review this figure or not but i realized there was something uh different about this that i wanted to touch bases on that i liked so we'll get into that here in a minute Meantime, let me get all get rid of this freaking tape so I can get this guy out of here and all this shit. And then, of course, the twist ties have to go. And you do too. One twist tie, not bad. Alright, so start by getting these out. It comes with a lot of accessories. I mean, pitchfork the last one i think came with a shovel so we got a freaking monkey wrench here a little kitchen knife covered in blood excuse me an actual firewood axe pretty cool and a machete, which I don't understand why none of the machetes I've gotten so far have come with blood on them. Everything else has blood on it. Alright, and then we got a, looks like a harpoon gun. Yep. Pretty cool. So yeah, he comes with, oh yeah, I can't forget this. <laughs> Fire poker. Very small. And then, of course, an extra head. And now the figure. So right away, I want to talk about one of the big difference with this one versus the other one. And that is the hockey mask on these. Looks like it. Oh, yes, it is. They're removable. So you get some freaking Jason face under there. Yuck. It's gruesome. Let's see what this other one looks like. Oh, it's all beat up and gashed and totally fucked up looking. That's great. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit. So that's cool. And you can switch out the mask. So that's awesome, too. Yeah. That's the that's the only reason why I went ahead and reviewed these. Because I'm looking at it and I was like... You could see it even in the package. That, Dude, those are removable. You can tell. So I've got to check this. This motherfucker looks like he's straight out of a Scooby-Doo episode, though. For real. <laughs> He's got a pumpkin head, man. Beat up shit. 
But it's cool, though. I do like it. I love how those masks fit on, man. That is fucking great. So, yeah, I mean, this one, he, he's wearing different color clothes here, too. I mean, it's a little different than the uh, first version that I reviewed. Uh, and I don't know. I mean, posing a Jason figure without a machete just doesn't feel right to me. A pitchfork? I mean, yeah, I know. He clowns and he uses just about whatever he can to kill someone with. Like this freaking wrench. This is great. A bloody wrench. <laughs> That's pretty fucking cool. But yeah, I mean, I just can't, I just can't visually see him without his, his traditional machete. So, this one right here, I mean, it's, it's good, but like I said, this feels more to me like it's something out of Scooby-Doo as opposed to like right out of the horror flicks. But I mean, that's just me. I know it's just me. I don't know. It, it, this, it looks great. It really does. I have no complaints. Um... The, the articulation set up pretty much basically the same way as the previous one. Uh, the part five version. So, I don't know, man. It's cool. It wasn't, I mean, it was, it was one of those where I seen it, like, I was out at Walmart and I seen this. And I've been looking at Walmart shit forever and ever, like, man, when they get something new in. And it just dawned on me, like, I've seen it there forever. And I'm like, I don't. I don't fucking have this one. This is not the same one that I did review. So I went ahead and picked it up. So um, I wish that that would happen more often that I find. Because I go to Walmart way more often than I go to Target, GameStop, or anything like that. So it would be nice to find more NECA stuff available at Walmart that I don't already have. It's just more convenient for me to be there and pick it up. So uh, yeah, I like this dude. He's pretty badass. Pretty scary. I do recommend him. So get that 3D version if you can. What did I say this was? Part what? Part three. Friday the 13th, part three. Yeah, that's probably gonna be about it on this guy, man. I don't got much else to say about him. I'm just ready to get to some of the other stuff that I've got. I love the fact that the Hosky Mag. Aki mask is removable. I like how both the head portraits are. You got the lumpy, that's his normal attractive look. And then I just been done fucked up, so I tried to kill me look. So, I like them both. I like the blood detail on it. Pretty good, pretty awesome. So, yeah. Go out and get this bad boy if you ain't already got it, man. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know what you think of the figure. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And as always, it's your boy Master Marvel 80 here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out until then.